So the plan is today is to actually use these nets right here, catch stuff in these rocks, like little crabs, coral, bandit shrimps, and so much more cool stuff, and either use them in my saltwater aquarium or feed them to our massive Oscars at the house in our 700 gallon pond. One minute out here and Q already got hooked up. Holy moly, look over there, those beautiful girls. <laughs> Pay attention Q, we're filming. Look you wanna there. go catch the girls and we're gonna catch some fish. All right, good luck. We got Chris over here as well, he's fishing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you all could see, but there's literally hundreds of fish, literally right next to the rocks right here. It's actually insane. Q's going to get the water, he wants to impress the ladies that are coming right now. Nice. That's first step, getting water in the bucket. Hey, what is that? Is that a beer bottle down there? Yeah. Right there. See it like trapped in the sand right there? Like right in front of you? Like right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just the glass. We're relocating right now. This was a really good spot. There's no luck. There's like a bunch of little fish. We got the local legend over here to show us. After we catch some fish, we're going to try to catch some girls. Yeah. Right? Well, I got a girlfriend now, so. Well, he was saying there's a bunch of more eels over here, a bunch of stingrays. All the cool stuff is out here. Awesome. You got a YouTube channel too? Yeah. What is it? My Shout wife it out real quick. My wife follows me. That's the only one. Well, now you might get some more. Shout it out. What is Waters it? Waters Skeeter. That link is going to be in the description. Down below. Be sure to check them out. <laughs> Grouper. So we got to get to Nurse the, We got to get catching right now. Got to do Wait some fishing. R.I.P. Puffin, man. R.I.P. Puffin. It's like somebody took him out and forgot to put him yeah. down. That's not nice. That's not what we stand for. Man. All right. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. Not a problem. And there he goes. The local legend. There we go. Watch the channel. Casual Pro. Right, Thank you, brother. We finally made it to the end, and in this spot, there's so many crabs. I actually see one right here. It disappeared. I forgot that crabs actually move really fast. What's Q doing? Oh my! He's getting in there. Crabs like right in front of you. They blend in with the rocks. Anything good in there, man? You see they're hiding under the rock. I found a snail. We're taking this for the aquarium. Look how cool that shell is. <laughs> no, look, look, he's coming out. Oh, that's so sick. He's coming home with us. Something could be trapped in there, like a crab, maybe even like a little fish. Dead. Because what happens is the tide gets high yeah. and they get trapped in here. There's a little hole. Yeah. yeah. What'd you find? Watch your hand, man. There could be eels in there. Potential. The guy taught me a good trick. Let's catch something. Our first catch of the day right here. There you go. What'd we get? A nice little crab. Is. Super cool. Let's get him in the bucket. Yeah. Sure he's alive? He's a goner, Q. He's dead? <laughs> yeah. All right, so that still counts as a catch. Good job for your first catch. Oh, mother Dedication right there. What happened, boy? Do we have a... Oh, he's gonna get so... <laughs> Look, now everything's getting rushed into the rocks right here. Watch it grab. This is our first time out here though, like doing something like this. We are rookies at it, but if you want to see more content like this, let us know down below and drop a like on the video. Q had enough of the net, he went for the fishing pole. And there is a ton of fish right on the edge of the rocks. And now we have Chris using the net as well. What will he be able to catch? Oh, hey. Whoa! I think there's some cool stuff right over here. Let's go! First crab on the list. And he's pinching at me. Let's get him in the bucket. We're leaving spot number one right now. We got a few things that we're gonna bring back to the saltwater aquarium, but we're gonna see if we can find another spot where we could actually go in the water, dig through some rocks, and actually catch some really cool stuff. My dad wearing Gucci in the water. What is it? Run on the bitch. What is that thing? I saw it. I don't know what it is though. Check that white pipe real quick. There could be something in there. We're at location number two where we could actually go down and actually check inside all of these rocks down here to see if we can find any more invertebrates for the saltwater aquarium. Oh, sick. There's a huge crab right there. Perfect for the aquarium, not too big. I say huge because it's bigger than all the other ones we found today. Oh yeah, I still see him. He's right there, right on the sand now. He's right on the sand, like right on the, up against the rock. The right? Oh, he, he just, no, no, he, he's literally right there. He just dug himself under the sand. See, look, he's right in this hole. 
Yeah, he's right there. He literally just dug himself in the sand. Oh, you can't get him. Man. Yeah, you can. He just he just dug himself to hide. You just have to grab grab the sand, and he's right there. Oh, nice! He caught him with his hand. Go. Let's go. He was pinching you. Yeah. Nice. You got a bigger crab now. Let's go. Not Good job. Bad. All right, we're back at the house, and this is my saltwater aquarium right here. As you can tell, it's perfect for invertebrates. All these rock structures and little crevices where they can hide and hang out. All that we have in this aquarium right now is this little damselfish right here and that huge snail right in the back over there. So it is going to be perfect to add these other invertebrates that we just caught in Florida. I mean, how cool is that that I could literally just go like in my backyard and go catch awesome stuff for an aquarium. And for anybody that's been watching on the channel, I did have clownfish in this aquarium and they unfortunately got eaten. I don't know by what, maybe the snail, if that's even possible, maybe the crab got to them but we lost our two clownfish. We're gonna start with the snail. And it's actually gonna be really cool that we can get some more snails in this aquarium. We're gonna start with him. Let's get him in and let's put him right on a rock right here. Let's get him nice and situated. Oh. Put him right there. Look how cool that snail is. Oh, look at this one, little one trying to escape the bucket. We went with like nice size invertebrates for this aquarium. Nothing too crazy. Just stuff that's gonna really fit in this tank. Honestly, I might go back off camera and just get like another five of these small snails right here. Look how cool those are. I could picture another five of them. Oh look, the other snail's moving around now. There is one other snail right here. All right, this is the last of the snails right here. This one I'm just gonna drop and let them. Snails now off to the crabs. We're gonna start with the small one first. Here we go. Oh, he's pinching, he's pinching. So cool. Let's get him in. There he goes. Right onto the rock. Oh look, he's finding a little crevice. He's gonna have so much fun exploring in this aquarium. Now off to the big boy. Hopefully he doesn't pinch me. This is our big boy right here. He's gonna look awesome in this aquarium. There he goes. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. That is so beautiful. Perfect size for the aquarium. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If we should go back out, get some more invertebrates, or if we should just do more like outside content, like going and catching stuff underneath that bridge, getting more invertebrates for this aquarium. Yeah, we have a lot of buddies in South Florida. This video was inspired by Barb's Buzzin'. We went to their location where they like to do a lot of their videos. Oh, he, look, he's digging underneath the sand right here. That is so sick. I'm so happy with what we got. We didn't get too much, which is perfect because this is a smaller aquarium, but that's gonna be it. Let us know what other content you guys wanna see. We live in South Florida. We can do a bunch of fun stuff just like what we did today. So let us know, drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace!